Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. I'm gonna show you how to create this church flyer. And if you're new and looking to learn Photoshop, this is the channel for you. Please hit the subscribe button and join the family of learners. Shall we begin? I have a 10 by 10 inches with 300 resolution as my flyer size. Now you want to go and bring in whatever image you want to use. So I already have an image here and I'm going to drag this image and drop it right into this file. I'm going to pick my move tool. I'm going to set this at the top and I'm just going to go ahead and scale it. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to add a new layer. So go to your plus icon under your layers panel and click on the plus icon. Now we want to move this layer up, click on your foreground and background, the little icon at the corner to activate the default. Now we want the white on top. So you want to click on your arrow and it's just going to flip it for you. With your foreground as white, pick your paint bucket and we're just going to fill this in. Oops, we lost everything. Don't worry, we'll get it back. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to add a layer max to this layer. So just click on your layer max. So with your foreground as black, we want to go ahead and pick our brush tool and I'm going to change my brush type. I'm not going to use just the basic. I want to go for a different brush option. So I'm picking the real watercolor and I'll make this available for you to download so you can use it. Now I'm just going to come out of this and you notice that my flow currently is at 5%. Um, I'm going to go ahead and increase my brush head by clicking on my right bracket. And I'm just going to do this to reveal my subject or my background. Now notice that my flow is at 5%. Now, if you do it and it's too much, all you need to do is that you want to flip your foreground color to white. We know that working with layer max, white hides, white reveals black hide. So with the black, we can basically paint over to hide a little more. You want to go ahead and create another layer. So click on your plus icon and move this layer to the very top. Now you want to change your foreground color. So we're going to click on that. And with our color picker, we are going to choose like a cyan. We're going to click OK and we're going to pick back our brush tool. And you want to make sure that your cup locks is off so that your brush head can show. Now we want to go ahead and paint in this area like so, so that we can add a bit more color and texture to our background before we begin to add our text. Now, then again, if you feel that you've added more than you need, you need to add a layer max. And with your foreground as black, you can basically take away from what you have already added. We're going to add a new layer. Click on your plus icon, and then we want to change our foreground color. We are going to go for something very pink-ish, and we're going to click OK. And we're going to repeat the same thing, but this time on the opposite side. So with the background all set, we're going to pick our type tool and we want to change our foreground color to uh, any color of your choice, but I'm going to go with uh, honey mustard and I'm going to click OK. Now, I have a font which is the Amalfi Coast. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click. So, I'm going to type in join and I'm going to double click. Now, I want to go ahead and decrease the spacing. So, I'm going to go to my property. And then under the VA, I'm going to decrease so that it closes up the gap. I'm going to go ahead and click on my text again, and I'm going to add the word as. 
Now, with these two sets, obviously you can see the text very well. So we're going to add a shadow effect. So double click on that font and the layer style comes up. Now we want to add a drop shadow. Now you see that it, it really makes the text pop. Now, if you want to play with your drop shadow, you can click on your drop shadow and more options comes up. Now you can go ahead and either increase your distance and you can decrease your spread if you want. You can basically play with it till you get your desired effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So with our text in place now, you can go ahead and keep your background image colored or you can make it black and white so that you don't have too many clashing colors. So we're going to click on our layer and click on the adjustment and adjustment option and then choose black and white. Now, if you choose black and white, you notice that your background image is turned into a black and white. Now, if you don't want the black and white and you change your mind, you can basically turn off this black and white and that is it. But I love it with the black and white. So we're going to go in that direction. Now you can comment below which one you like, either with the color or with the black and white. So guys, with this set, we're going to move our text up a little and we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the information. So I'm going to pick my type tool with my foreground. I'm going to flip so that we can get the black. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my cup locks. I'm going to type this Sunday. Now I'm going to highlight because I want a different font. So I'm going to go under the font option. So I'm going to go with the all round Gothic and I'm going to pick my move tool and I'm just going to go ahead and scale it like that. I'm going to double click and I'm going to flip my foreground and background. So I get the black. Now I'm going to move this to space our text. We want to go under our property and VA is where you can do that. So you can see that this is looking good. Now I want to go ahead and scale this down. If your transform is not activated, command T or control T if you are on Windows and command T if you are on the Mac. Now with this set, you just want to go ahead, hold one end and scale this down and you can set that right there. Now, the font obviously is too dark. We can see it. So we can double click on this and actually change the font. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it so it fits inside. So with our font in place, we want to go ahead and bring in our logo. So I already have my logo all set here as well as my Zoom logo. So I'm going to select both. And I'm just going to drag that into our file like that. I'm going to select the first one and set that right there. Now I'm going to move this logo and set that on the bottom right here. So I'm just going to pick my type tool and I'm just going to begin to type in the meeting. So we're just going to move our text and set that right on the bottom. And we're going to move our logo so everything lines up now you can double click on your font and maybe make the meeting id a little bit bolder so with everything in place the other thing that you can do is that you can actually highlight just the j and we can increase the font uh, and make it bigger and we can go ahead and move that and set that right there So we are going to go ahead and click on our type tool with our foreground as white And I'm gonna set it right there now. I want to make a duplicate so command J make a duplicate and double click on that and basically change that to 30. Now we want to scale this down because we want this to be smaller and not the same size as the 10. Now move it right there. Now, once you put in your second, your bottom text, 
if the spacing is too much you can come under your property and basically reduce the a over a so i'm gonna go ahead i'm missing a bit of a text of the church so i'm just going to go ahead and type in the name of the church now to finish this off we are going to add a color lookup so scroll all the way up to the top layer in your layers panel now go under your adjustment levels and you want to click on color lookup so with a color lookup you have the option of choosing whatever final finish you want so we are just going to play with this so you realize that you can even change up your colors so i'm just going to go ahead and leave it on the fuji antenna 25od and that is this one i hope you found this tutorial helpful please like comment subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads so until next time guys please be safe bye y'all